Hello! This week on This Old Workshop, we're working on finger gauntlets. Some of y'all missed this week's class, so here's a quick five minute primer. So, first you're going to need to get your tools. Seen here. Once you have those out, it's time to start working. First of all, you're going to lay out your gauntlet, your finger piece. You want to make sure you've got the right pieces. So you'll see me double checking these here. And lay them out on your piece. You want the two center pieces to be touching. And I like to use a nail just to go ahead and mark all the holes I'm going to have to punch. So just reach down through the hole and mark them. Yep, double check that those are touching each other. Punch your holes really quick. Lay a piece of nylon tape and push your nail up through the nylon tape, up through your piece of leather, and bam, there you go. I add a little bit extra, fold in a little bit extra cloth between each nail, just so that I'm not having to pull against it when I start, you know, folding my fingers. Push down your two uh, main finger cannons. Now you're going to see here a tiny little gap. We need to get rid of that. So we're going to go over to our little anvil. There's a saddle shape. It's the round one, not the, cir the circular one. And we're going to use this tool. This is our the tool. It's got two ends, a hole and a divot. We're going to use the hole side and a hammer and drive our nail on. And if you look at these two pieces, you'll see there are two different heights. That's because we've, we've shaped the nail to the inside shape of our piece of metal. We want to do that to every single nail as we work. And get our clippers. Clip off our nails. So we've, you're going to be clipping with the clippers flush to the metal, which will leave a little nubbin sticking up. Now, I've stretched out when I, when I did double check my placement. Now I've got a gap. Whatever, I'm going to work with it between my two plates. Won't hurt anything. Now I use the dish side, it's the one that's on a hole, it's a little divot, to go ahead and upset my each one of my copper rivets that I've now made around the piece of metal. And what we'll do is by using this, we're going to be squeezing the metal and so that it's the copper sandwiches the the metal into the leather. This is better than just using the ball peen because it comes up you end up with a better rivet. And because that leaves them with the stuck sort of high up, I'm going to pull out a peening hammer and peen all the surfaces. You can peen them as flat as you want. I like mine somewhat flat but not super flat. Now it's time to attach the finger dip. Mark it. Make sure my holes are still the same. It's all straight. Drive it through my nylon tape into my piece. Okay, it's time to put the, cat, the fingertip on. Every once in a while, you're going to have a piece that just won't go on no matter what. Get your copper set, use the whole end, tap it once or twice, it should pop for a whole piece right on. So, I use the whole end again, go ahead and shape those nails over the, the saddle so that they all match. Otherwise, you could hit the fingertip or the finger, you're going to have a basically a, 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 a rivet smack you in the fingertip, and that would hurt. Yeah, it's time to switch over to that rounded end. And upset these. So, what you want to do in upsetting is that you want to hit a lot of times lightly. I you know, think 20 or 30 hits. Yes, you could probably upset it into a little dome shape of two or three, but by upsetting it slowly, 
you end up with a really nice upset that, that grabs both sides of the, of the metal. Time to put the, the, finger t the finger cap on. Now, I found it a little difficult to mark through there, so I just used the hammer to drive my nails a little bit, just so that I could mark the leather. Put through one of the copper ribbon nails through here. Now, one of these is sacrificial. It doesn't always end up being sacrificial. <laughs> I'd say 50% of the time, but since it happens, I decided to use that as the example. So, you drive both through, and you know, play wiggle around with them. Use your little washer the, uh, if you need to wheel them around because while you're going the inside of a curve. And I need to use the corner here. Use the nail the whole end. Drive it nice and tight down. It's not super tight yet. There you go. Now, the round end fits on the inside of your knuckle. You're going to hold it by wrapping the whole piece with your fingers. Squeeze it all down. Grab the end of your, of your copper set and drive this on. Nip it off. And upset it just a little bit. We don't do a lot of upsetting on this first one. Because it's really not, you can't really get where it belongs until you have the second one all the way done. So. Make sure it's nice and tight. Nip it off. Upset it using the dividend. Bam. Now, every once in a while, you're going to check it out and you're going to go, son of a gun, it's come out. Oh, well, first of all, we're going to go ahead and flatten that ribbon out a little bit. And I'm going, nope, didn't work. Pull out the, the rivet, the, 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 your, your sacramental rivet. Pop through a new nail. This one goes really fast because, well, guess what? All the work has been done. Go ahead and shape the inside. And now it's all fit perfectly that time. Nip it off. Shape it. Use your dividend just to make it nice and clean. Bam, there you go. One done finger. Should take you about five minutes maybe per, six minutes per if you really know what you're doing. Um, and you're not going really slow for a video. Hope this helps you out.